Hey guys, I'm here in beautiful San Diego, California, and I'm here because of that. Yes, I'm here to do some videos on the brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier and the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. But I flew down here and I got a rental car, but it's actually not a rental car, it's a rental truck. So in this video, I just thought I would have some fun and show you exactly what you can get when you're renting actually a pickup truck at the airport. So let's walk around it. Let's look at it from the side. Right? It's it's a Ram. It's a new Ram. But doesn't it look kind of not new? Well, take a look at this. It's actually a, it is a brand new Ram 1500 Classic. So what Ram is doing right now is they're building both the previous generation Ram, the DS generation, and the next generation of the Ram the DT generation like the Ram TRX at the same time and these older trucks are actually more affordable because they've been around for a while and all the kind of factory and tooling is all done but you can still get a brand new one this truck actually has 400 miles approximately on it so it is pretty new so I wanted to show you kind of what you get and what you don't get uh, when you're getting a rental pickup truck so let me pop the hood and actually show you what's going on underneath this beast. Let's take a look. Aha! Look at this. So when you're renting a pickup truck, you're not getting a big Hemi V8. I mean, you could technically in theory, but this is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 gas engine. And it is backed up by an eight speed automatic. But you can see, look at how much space there is. I could put, I don't know, there's like a foot and a half of room here. I could maybe put another four-cylinder engine in here and get some extra power going. Um, so, but actually this is not bad because you're actually getting good payload because the truck is lightweight and fairly good fuel efficiency. So this is not bad for a rental truck. Now let's look a little bit wider. Let's take a look how high this truck is. You might recognize that it's not very tall because it's a two-wheel drive. So you're not getting four by four. You can kind of see how much clearance there is. Just about a hand and a half, or maybe two hands here to the front chin spoiler. And that's probably because I am in California, Southern California, which you don't really need a four-wheel drive vehicle because the rental company doesn't want you to go off-roading. They want you to actually use this maybe for work as a runabout and actually uh, we'll just have fun with it. So let's look at the bed. So another thing you don't really get is, of course you're getting a basic tailgate, no dampening on the tailgate. You're also not getting a spray and bed liner. This is a plastic thing, you can see right here. And it's mounted with these bolts here on the tailgate and it's mounted with the screws into the side of the bed using these little you can kind of see one of them here so basically yeah it's not the greatest uh, but it's a more affordable option and you know people don't want to spend a lot of money on the rental so this is protection for the bed it's not the best because you see dirt and grime can get under there maybe water can get under there and eventually it'll get scratched and maybe a little bit rusty but this is brand new so there you have it. Let's go inside. So Case, can you jump in the passenger? Okay. Alrighty, sorry, it was a little bit windy and noisy out there. So another cool thing uh, for this rental truck actually, boom, it's kind of a work model. And technically it's a six-seater because I have a you know six seat belts, three in the front, three in the back. This is kind of a storage cubby. There's nothing underneath this seat in this model. And then of course the center console has the big three cup holder area and a, a big storage area in here with USBs. And this truck is so new, it still has plastic in different areas here. So that's pretty cool. You get, well, in this case, two keys. They're very simple. Just lock and unlock and panic. So this is very, very simple. Um, 
you get a small screen. I'll turn it on in a second. You get a very basic manual climate control system. You just have a traction control off, and then of course tow haul mode. <coughs> but actually, I forgot to show you, this truck does not have a hitch. I'll show you that in a second. So they really don't want you towing. Um, even though there is wiring for it, there is a seven pin connector in the back, but no hitch to actually connect anything to. So let me start it. Uh, here's the V6, the beast comes to life. So you got a rotary shifter still for your automatic. And notice here, once again, nothing here because there's no four wheel drive system to shift. You have a cubby over here. <coughs> Sorry, I put my sunglasses here. You still have another storage area. Two glove boxes. So in the classic, you get all that. You get a little tiny screen with a rear camera. It's a required thing. So yes, of course you have that. Let me put it back in park. And actually, I like this. Um, you get a lot of gauges. So right now, I don't know if you could see that. So right now, it's showing my transmission temperature. I can monitor all my vitals, my oil temp, my pr oil pressure, oil life, my battery, my, you know, the rest of my parameters, my engine hours, my tire pressures. It, even for a basic truck, that's a lot of configurability. You can see my miles, 432. Um, yeah, and pretty simple. And I can control, obviously, my cruise control and my gear selector here. And my phone connections I can control here for voice recognition and stuff. So what, what else do you need? Uh, power windows, power locks, power side, and heated mirrors. That's kind of strange. Why do you need heated mirrors in San Diego? Um, I don't know. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you really quick what you're getting and not getting with a rental truck. So let me just uh, finish up in the back. Let's go outside. Actually, and see, see the back seat. So we have all of our luggage back here. But look at this. Let me lift this bottom cushion. And this is quite interesting because normally you kind of have a split, a 40-60 split. Um, in a seat like this, but this is a little bit more basic. Uh, the whole seat comes up. You have kind of enough storage, although there's a big hump. You can see this is an older generation of the truck. You have a transmission hump um, or a drivetrain hump here, but you still have cubbies and cup holders. And even though this is a pretty inexpensive, nice little truck, um, yeah, plenty of space here, as you can see. Um, I promised you to show the back end, so let's look. Yeah, so you can see here spare. We even have a sway bar right there underneath. Um, but Or anti-sway bar, I should say. <laughs> but no hitch, uh, but wiring. Seven pin connector. So I guess technically if this truck ever went, you know, on auction after being in the rental fleet, you could maybe purchase it and add a hitch to it and kind of go. And these trucks, classic trucks are still still being built the 2021s are there they start at 28,700 bucks it's almost mid-size truck money for a full-size rig and of course there's also the warlock which is a little bit more um, off-roady truck also on the classic platform they also have an express um, so yeah there are plenty of choices uh, to be had and affordable choices so let me know what you think have you rented the truck before? What have you used the one for when you rent one? I just happen to use this as a runabout. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world truck reviews. And also, go back to TFL Truck YouTube channel because very soon we will also have the brand new Frontier there and the 2022 Pathfinder on our either Now channel or the Car channel. Stay tuned.